Hi guys, this video is part 2 video of how to create control radio buttons with React. In part 1, which I'm linking here, we wrote an application for payment method selection. The code we wrote is working fine, but definitely can be optimized. We can see a lot of the code repeats, the styling repeats, which is obviously not a good practice. Our code can be more flexible to intake a list of radio buttons from external source, enabling you to create hundreds of them at a time without duplicating a code. So in this video, I will show you how to reuse radio button component in multiple places in your app. Import your component data, in our case radio button, from external JSON file. Export CSS to a separate file, ensuring consistency of formatting across your app. So let's start. I am copying my code to a new file to not to lose my work and will alter it there. I will call it payment method 2. First, let's look at this part of the code where we create each radio button. We can see that the structure of each radio button is the same. They all have the same attributes that can be parameterized. Type, name, value, checked and on change. Additionally, each radio button has a link to a picture. This also can be a parameter. So what we can do is to copy the code for single radio button that we created and create a parameterized template from it. I will call my template radio button. Notice that it's outside of the main function. This way this template can be imported into multiple places in your app. We will pass value, URL, checked and on change as parameters. And then instead of hard coding attribute values for each radio button, we will reference those parameters. This way each implementation of this template can use their own data or functions to generate radio button. I'm leaving name and type as hard-coded, as those are properties shared by the buttons from the same group. We're done with the template. Now I prepare the JSON file with all the objects that we will be importing to our program. You can see that each of them has a key, value and picture file name referencing the logo image. Now, having a template and JSON file, we are ready to implement our template inside our payment method to function. We will create a radio button group, which will intake JSON file as a parameter and map each object from JSON to our component that we prepared the template for. Now, let's take a moment to look at the checked and onChange attributes. This is a behavior that is defined by the functions inside our main function payment method 2. These behaviors can be different for other implementations. That's why we pass them as a parameter in our template. So, for example, in the future, if you have a payment method 3 function, you may define different behavior for onChange or checked attribute. Now let's go to the bottom and replace all those lines of code with simple radio button group component which intakes data from JSON file. I obviously need to import it first. Here we go. And the last thing I want to do is to replace this hard-coded styling with imported CSS class. So we make sure that all our radio buttons will have one central place where we can change the formatting. We will create CSS file with the class name radio button image and make them the same height and width. We will now add this class in our image component in the template.
One thing we need to do now is to move all pictures to a public folder so they can be easily accessed. And let's see the final effect. It looks exactly the same as our previous version, but the code is so much simpler and shorter. Now let me show you the main benefit of what we just did. If I add more payment methods to my JSON file, let's say we add three more husbands. They will be instantly rendered by our program without adding any new code. So the list of payment methods is now dynamic.